all right guys so in this one we will display all the products here inside the store page okay so to do that uh, let's just go to the store dot html i think uh, uh, we will first close all these tabs first okay so the first first thing we need to do is uh, we have to uh, go to this uh, views store and views okay from here we are rendering the you know the store.html page right so here the same thing we did in the home page right so uh, what we will do we will just go to this uh, home view okay here let's just copy this one okay and paste this here okay so the products equal to product objects all and filter it with the is available equal to true so we will bring this product uh, model from dot uh, models import product okay dot model is because we ha we have the model of uh, you know product model here in this same app okay so here it is so that's why we use uh, dot models and let's pass this context here all right so now these products are available inside our uh, store.html page all right so here let's go to this templates store and store.html just uh, scroll down and uh, you get the list of products here so this is the header and we have the uh, the same thing we saw in the html uh, you know the home.html right so this same thing we only want one one uh, column okay so and uh, rest the rest of all the columns we can delete all right the so first one we will delete it and uh, next one we will delete it and this one also uh, these two and this one okay so we have deleted all the columns and we only have one now so that is uh, this one so what we will do is just uh, open the for loop for product in products and here end this for loop and for okay so now let's uh, check refresh okay all the products are printed so this this is uh, added to not uh, added to cart here so uh, here let's so let's say add to cart okay and uh, the button should be primary okay so this should uh, where is it so this should be added to cart only when the product is added to the cart okay otherwise it should be add to cart okay all right so looks good and next we need you need to change all these uh, you know the title and the price first one let's say uh, remove this and double uh, curly braces product dot um product name all right product underscore name and the price this one we will delete this one okay this del delete tag we don't need this we only need this one and instead of this number we will say product dot price okay just uh, save this and uh, we also need to change this um product image right so let's say product dot images dot url save this one and refresh okay all the products are now here in this product uh, you know st store page so here uh, what i can see is 32 items found but that is the static number we will count all the products and uh, put the dynamic number here so just go to this uh, you know a store view here 
uh, once uh, this is done let's say um, product count equal to products dot count okay so this is the python count method so let's uh, uh, save this so uh, actually we are counting this the, the result of this count uh, okay uh, sorry result of this product so it should return uh, the uh, product count okay so here just copy this one and pass this here okay so that uh, it will be available for the html page so now this is available here so now let's go to this 32 item instead of this 32 let's say found um let's open one br tag sorry not br tag just a b tag for the uh, strong text now let's say product underscore count okay so this should bring the number items found now let's refresh okay so we have uh, found eight items oh let's remove this a uh, found okay so all right eight items found so that's it for now in the next lecture what we will do is we will uh, uh, display the products by category okay so when we when okay we should also uh, you know also list down all the categories here so when we when we click on any of the categories then it should bring us only the products that are uh, related to that particular category okay so we'll do that in the next one